Hi, in today's video we're going to be having a look at this uh, three cell cell balancing board. Now in a previous video we uh, looked at this uh, battery pack uh, removed from a uh, jump starter and uh, just want to see if we can salvage the uh, pack. Now it appears that these cells are unbalanced. It's only giving out about 10 volts and it should be sort of near a 13 and uh, you can't you can try and shove power directly into the uh, the output connector there but it doesn't increase the uh, voltage so we have got a bunch of wires coming off it so i'm making the assumption they are cell balancing but i do want to do some checks on that and uh, i'm going to try and connect it up to this board and uh, see if that can revive the battery now uh, talking of pcbs like this please do check out my sponsor pcb way with PCB Way, you can get high quality PCBs from just $5 for 10 boards. Why not add assembly starting from just $30 for 1 to 20 boards? PCB Way offer a high quality and professional manufacturing service from prototype to fully assembled boards, flex PCBs, and more. Check them out in the link below. So I purchased this one off uh, eBay. Total cost £2.89 delivered. So nice and cheap, and uh, hopefully we can uh, make some use out of it. So it says 12.6 volts, rev 2.3, um, and we've got a 0 volt point, 4.2, 8.4, 12 12.6. So that would be ground, then the 3, I'm guessing. Um, and we've got a... Uh, positive and negative there as well which may be I presume you can use that as the input for uh, charging the uh, board um, so looking at this uh, battery pack we've got here one two three four five connectors and on here we've got one two three four uh, so I'm not quite sure if we need um, the right ground or something to go straight to uh, ground on that one or not um, but if we have a look at the uh, voltages on this this is where it sort of leads me to think it's it's unbalanced but it's also a bit confusing as to how it's wired um, so if we go from the negative point there the first contact is the white one is 3.3 the second contact yellow is also 3.3 then the third one is blue is 6.6 .6, and then across the two is 10 volts there which I think matches up with what we get across here yeah so are those three white yellow and blue do they need to go sort of uh, white to 4.2, yellow to 6.4, and uh, blue to 12.6, um, or do we need the red on 12.6, etc., etc.? Um, so I don't know if like one of these is acting as a temperature uh, sensor as well, and that's why we got two that are having the uh, have the same voltage on them, pretty much at 3.3 volts. So I think the uh, option here is going to be to uh, dismantle this battery pack a little bit, uh, take this off and uh, this heat shrink stuff. We can always uh, repair that afterwards and uh, see if we can see where these uh, wires are going and hopefully identify better which ones need to be connected to what. Okay, so I've just uh, carefully nibbled away, making sure I don't short anything out and just uh, broken that top part open so we can see here we've got the two thick wires going in and uh, interestingly we've got blue and white here which look like they might be soldered in a similar position to these two thick wires so I think I need to measure the voltage across blue and white um, it may be that this that's a kind of sense output for um, for the main output and um, maybe yellow is just a uh, temperature sensor and that's uh, our problem 
might not be able to balance it. But uh, let's just have a look and just see what we get across uh, those two. Uh, it's 3.3, .3, so it's definitely not strapped across to uh, to that one. So I think we need to dig a little bit deeper, uh, but don't want to completely destroy it or uh, risk shorting it out. So I think if we uh, try and nibble that one out of the way. See if that reveals any more. Okay, so that reveals they are soldered there, and yellow is soldered in the uh, middle. So the question is, how is this board connected to the actual uh, cells inside? Yes, it's not proving quite as uh, simple as I hoped it would. See, I'm still not sure if this is going to be three. This is three cells or just two cells sandwiched together. Because looking at that, you would, you would sort of think, well, that's uh, one cell and that's two cells there. Uh, not too sure. Are we going to have to? Uh, yeah, I think we're going to have to peel this off and uh, take a closer look. All right, well, this is turning out to be uh, a bit more interesting. Uh, we seem to have four cells in this. Um, it looks like it is uh, two cells in parallel, and uh, then presumably those two blocks in a series. Um, but you can see here the um, the tabs from the cells coming up there, and I think this one from this side goes up to there. So that must be one cell. Uh, treated as one cell effectively um, and then we have got I think these two yeah I think these two I think the yellow points the uh, center point on these because we've got um, these two joined together here this side and these two joined together at this side and then this side when you look down in the board, it doesn't look like they are, um, they're both joined together there. Let's do some more um, investigating on this. Um, so, what do we want? Let's have a look at voltage. Across those two points there is 3.3. .3. And what about those bottom ones is 3.3. .3. So what about the middle one? 3.3. .3. Okay, so basically getting the 3.3 .3 everywhere, so I'm getting a bit stuck now with this. So 10 volts there, 6.6 .6 volts there. 3.3 .3 volts there, 3.3 .3 volts there. Hmm. Any ideas? This is uh, proving to be uh, more difficult than I thought, and uh, we're not getting any closer to uh, trying to figure out about balancing it. Everything is sandwiched so tightly together. This is all being uh, soldered on, and it's very difficult to see, um, get an idea of quite how they've got these um, attached. I think if we uh, take the bottom tape off, might be to just bend the cells out a little bit, um, just to make it slightly easier. Right, uh, some time later, and uh, I've been uh, looking through this um, to see how these are connected, and various doodles here. So what we've effectively got is uh, C1, which I'm counting as uh, the one on the red. So the negative of that goes to C2 positive. C2 negative goes to C3 positive. C3 negative goes to C4 positive. And C4 negative is uh, black. So it is a complete uh, series pack. 
which is good. I thought it might have been some weird series parallel. So it is a series pack and uh, we should be able to use the uh, balance board on it. Now if you go between red and yellow uh, you get 6.6 .6 volts and uh, red and blue you get 3.3 so that's what I'd expect for that side. Uh, if you go between black and yellow you get 3.3 .3 volts uh, but if you go between white and yellow we get 0 0.01 volts so there's our problem we've got one cell that is completely dead um, so we're going between white and yellow so it could be don't work out either one of these um, yellows on that one so that would be yellow is positive cell 3 then negative cell 4 so let's measure so is it cell 3 oh, tap the microphone there is it cell 3 that's dead uh, so that's positive cell 3 to negative cell 3 I'll go the other way around uh, yeah that's right it's got the leads the wrong way around so that's dead whereas that is 3.3 .3. so there we go cell 3 is uh, completely dead can we recover it I don't know I don't know if going straight with the balance board is going to be enough or whether we need to try and uh, feed in sort of 3.3 4.2 volts uh, between um, yellow and uh, white so I think I'll go for that option we're uh, got some uh, DuPont leads yeah orange one that do for positive so let's uh, try this as a first option and uh, if we can get the cell back at all then we might have a chance of uh, being able to hook up the balance board to it and uh, get the pack fully working again so let's recap yellow is cell 3 positive so that's going to be our orange wire and then white double check cell 3 negative that will be our black wire so we will just verify that with the meter just to make sure that we are definitely got the correct polarity so hold that there and go across that one 0.02 volts uh, showing on the meter so it's out of screen so let's uh, get the uh, power supply and uh, that's negative set this up for I'm gonna start with 100 milliamps at uh, 4.2 volts connect that to there and, uh, let's turn that on right we've got nothing yeah we're drawing nothing pretty much zero on that so I think we can safely say that uh, that pack is dead as far as uh, cell 3 goes so we're not going to have any luck with the uh, balance board on that but uh, I've got plenty of other things that can make use of it. I can build a little pack of 18650s. So uh, in a future video we'll be uh, doing that. But for now we've at least uh, found the problem. Uh, unfortunately that cell's dead. These are not going to be easy to find, um, let alone replace. Um, these are soldered but you're going to require quite a lot of heat to uh, desolder these cells. So I expect the uh, it could be a bit risky trying to um, you know, even if you could get a replacement trying to desolder these um, off here. And um, I could say I've done some Googling on the uh, numbers that are on it. Um, they don't list the voltages at all. The only thing you saw is a date code of 2016, uh, 24th week, the looks of it. Um, 2016, but uh, no um, further information on them. 
and uh, all the other writing doesn't match up to anything. Ah, bonus footage. Um, it turned out um, that there's a bit of a problem with this uh, original orange uh, DuPont cable. Um, whereas it did read something at first, it uh, clearly wasn't making a uh, proper connection. And um, yeah, my mistake, I did actually have the uh, the uh, black wire here connected to the black instead of the white. Uh, so I've rectified that. So now negative is going to negative of cell 3. And uh, orange wire is going to positive of uh, cell 3. And we are drawing some current now. I've got the voltage set at 4.2 volts. Uh, the current is currently 30 milliamps. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to uh, get much better than that. Um, it seems to be steadily dropping down. So if we check between there and there. Right, so we're currently showing. I just don't think this holds the capacity. Uh, so currently got, if we can, I'm going to say 4.1 volts there. And uh, if I turn the power supply off, you can see that voltage is dropping rapidly downhill. So yeah, still a dead cell. It uh, will obviously uh, quickly ramp up to the uh, it's full capacity but it won't hold it and uh, yeah that's dropping right down so there we are there's our uh, problem cell number three that's what I'm calling it is uh, toast well, I hope you enjoyed that video guys uh, if you did like it please do give it a big thumbs up please remember guys please do subscribe and please consider heading over to patreon and uh, supporting my channel through there I'll see you soon for the next video